I understand that, ma'am, but who is George Rogers? The account is under his name. <sighs> I already explained it to the lady that transferred me to your department. I'm on the account, but I'm not the account holder. He Mr. is... Mr. Klein, it would seem the misunderstanding. Miss Klein. It is Miss Klein. George and I were not married. I... It says here you are listed as a spouse. Young man, if you would let me get a word in before you cut me off, I will explain it to you the same way I have to the last three people I talked to this morning on this damn two-hour-long phone call. Can you let me do that? Go ahead, Miss Klein. Thank you, Ryan. I believe that is what you said your name was. So, George is no longer living at this address. And he hasn't for over a year now. But the cable service plan he signed up for was part of a three-year-long contract. And spouse was the only way to list me on the account when he created it. Anyway, that is neither here nor there, since you just verified that I am listed on it. When he moved across town, it was to an area that y'all didn't service. So I agreed to fulfill his obligation to y'all's contract. Had I known it was going to be this cumbersome, I would have let Clear Fiber terminate the contract and pursue him for the balance. Now... Please just send a service technician out here today and fix the issue. Okay, hold on, please. Okay, Miss Klein, I have a service rep that will be there between 3 p.m. and 5 p.m. Will that work? Can I get something a little more specific? No, I'm sorry. We have to use these windows due to the other calls the technician's making today. Fine. Was there anything else I can do for you today? No. As I said earlier, my name is Ryan Cantu, and here at Clear Fiber Cable, we value your business and want you completely satisfied with the level of service we provided. Would you like to take a brief two-minute survey at the end of the call to give us your valued feedback? No, Ryan. I don't think you would want my feedback on this atrocity that you call service. Have a good day. Hey, are you George? Uh, I mean, uh, Mrs. Rogers? No. It's Miss Klein. I told the... You know what? It doesn't matter. I thought you were going to be here between 3 and 5. It's 7.47 p.m. Oh, I'm sorry. Last house took longer than I expected, and I got lost in your neighborhood. So, what seems to be the problem? You are kidding, right? I just spent the whole morning telling your company all the issues. They didn't relay any of that to you? No, they did. But I spilled soup on it. I don't recommend eating and driving. I got chicken tortilla all over my clipboard. See? This fat fuck would look great to disembowel right about now. That is very gross. Now, please, just fix the cable and leave. So, is all your TVs not getting reception or uh, just this one? I only have one TV. And could you be careful, please? Everything is shaking on top of that TV cabinet. Here, let me... (laughs) Oopsies. Uh, Don't worry. Clear fiber will replace it for you. No! You fucking imbecile! You can't 
replace that? It's from 1966. <coughs> that was from a trip to Las Vegas. It was a gift from... <coughs> Never mind. <laughs> I'll go get a broom. Oh, Mrs. Klein, maybe we can find one on the internet. There's all sorts of cool auction sites there. People sell all sorts of old junk. I mean, old stuff. I, I'm, I mean, precious collectibles. Precious. Yes, indeed it was. So very dear to me. Yeah, uh, I mean, yes, um, the internet, it's taken the world by storm. Uh, I, I could install dial-up for you. It, it, it wouldn't be much. I, I'm going to go check on a cable line outside, okay? Uh, I'll be right back. If I could dispose of him piece by piece over the next few weeks. I mean, I could finally take advantage of this frail state I'm in when the cops showed up. No, officer. The cable company said he would be here between three and five, but he never showed. Oh, yes. They would believe me. And by the time they did search my house, he'd be long gone, resting in all the different dark places of Morstan. Yes, oh yes. I could fill the tub with his blood. And then... Shit, Lena! Get a hold of yourself. What if Johnny Stitches found out? That might endanger Edward. But that buffoon broke the snow globe. I should at least break his skull open and let it leak out in the same way, right? No, Lena. You've come too far now. You haven't killed since that... That... Don't let go now. Just grab the broom and clean up the mess. Or I could get my scalpel and the mop bucket and clean up God's mess from when he let life into that revolting, irritable, mouth-breathing blood sack. Yeah. No. Snap out of it and get it together. He is just an idiot and doesn't know what you are capable of. Plus, you need him to fix the TV so you don't miss the nine o'clock news. Right? Of course that's right. Now, get the broom. One more piece of what we had gone. <laughs> but oh, it was such a wonderful night. <laughs> I miss you, Eddie. <laughs> Well, it's all done, ma'am. You can turn the old tube back on if you want. Let's see if everything's up to snuff. About time. 
I thought I was going to miss the news. What was it? What was what? The problem. You fixed it outside? Obviously, something was wrong out there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Duh. Uh, looks like your little dog chewed through the line. But it's good now. I fixed it. I don't have a dog. Are you sure you don't have a dog? No, I don't have a fucking dog. <coughs> Why would I say I don't have one if I did? <coughs> God, you are dense. <coughs> are we done? No, it, it's just, just that some people lie so they don't have to. I mean, you know what? Never mind. I just signed right here. No charges apply to my visit. You've been here for over an hour. Did you see or hear a dog? No, ma'am, I didn't. Sorry. Uh, the yellow copy on the bottom is yours. Here. Thanks, Stephen. Miss Klein, uh, look, I'm, I'm real sorry I broke that snow globe. I can tell it really Garrett meant something to you. Is there anything I can do? Manner. Yes. By the killer. Leave. The authorities also told me that a postcard with two morning doves was placed on her abdomen. Oh, no Edward. So bored yet. Maxine was a All elements of Cybernicide are copyright 2017, Atrium Dynamics. Please visit Cybernicide.com for more details.